Welcome everybody back to another episode of Foul Mouth Fishing. Uh, it's that time again. Got my Mystery Tackle Box Elite uh, box came in this afternoon and I just wanted to jump in and do a quick uh, unboxing. Uh, there's a couple more videos out there with people with pro boxes. A lot of people switched over from their bass boxes to ice fishing tackle or trout fishing tackle. Um, the Elite box only comes as a bass box so that's what I fish for primarily and that's what I, I review. <coughs> So we'll, we'll get into this, we'll see what came in the February 2019 Mystery Tackle Box Elite. And uh, after this video, I will try to do a, depending on the baits that are in here, uh, try to do a, a substitution video where I can show alternate baits to make up for the ones that are in here. So if you don't collect these, if you're not part of that subscription package, you can still go to your local tackle store and get equally valuable or equally useful um, baits at less expense than what I pay for. So I will, for full disclosure, say that uh, this month I actually had a $5 discount <clears throat> based on a previous coupon code. So I paid $5 less this month, uh, around $37, $38, uh, opposed to my normal $42 with some change. So we open up the box, we get the typical calendar, the little measuring tape. If you want to do your MTB slams, we get our our Mystery Tackle Box Dibble Digest with uh, hints, tips, and techniques. Um, I got <clears throat> an old sticker, but it's cool. It's a sticker I don't have yet, so my sticker collecting friends out there, there's that. And our What's in the Box. Um, the What's Inside today, it looks like two, four, six, eight different baits. I'll try to focus in there on those. Okay. So we got uh, eight baits in this box, which is pretty good. Another thing about MTB, you can go on to um, the Shop Carl site and you can track your box during the order. So I knew that this was going to arrive sometime today. Um, it also gives you a good hint if you are subscribed to these. Um, you can track how good your box roughly could be, uh, taking into account weights and, and sinkers and things like that. But it gives you a weight class for your box. So this box was a little over a pound. It was like 1.3 I believe, so I knew that I was going to get a good quantity of baits. If I saw a box that was, say, uh, 0.87 on the shipping information, then I knew that the box was going to be not so not so heavy in, uh, in baits. <clears throat> so, let's see. First off the bat, ah, an old tried and true friend. We've got the Strike Pro Gill Raker. Now, this was a, a, a bait that was typically in uh, the... January boxes, I believe, December or January boxes of MTB. Most of the people got this. I didn't get this in my January box, um, but I actually went to Shop Carl's and, and picked up one anyway. So this is good. I have a second one, evidently. I'll just, uh, I'll keep this to a side. If I lose the first one, I have a backup spare. Um, this is a tournament grade sinking swim bait, jointed. Uh, plastic, not a, not a wood one. Great color scheme, Strike Pro comes out with, and, um, it comes with a secondary tail, so if you tear off your first tail, you have a backup. That's one good thing about Strike Pro. Their, their company uh, normally adds an extra tail or an extra fin or an extra uh, you know part of the body composite so that if you lose or break uh, a component, you can easily swap it out for a replacement. So the longevity on your bait is much higher. <clears throat> and that, that gives you value for your money. I will say that. The Strike Pro Gill Raker is uh, retailed in the uh, in the MTB's retail listing at thirteen ninety nine. Uh, next, we have the Jenko Jenko brand fishing deep diver crankbait. So, being the cold cold months that we're in right now with cold water temperatures, uh, this is a seventy eight millimeter one ounce twenty foot diving lipped crankbait. It's a pretty fat profile. This is their CD20. Again, it's a deep diver at 20 foot. Now, the lake that I can fish normally has about 18 foot to structure. Um, so this is still viable in that, depending on your retrieve rate. Nice sticky hooks, we'll say that. So we've got, you know, a nice pattern. It's got the, uh, the little swatch, the black spot, a little swatch of the uh, of that bright neon, we got a metallic purple on the top, runs down to a baby blue shad color, mm, 
It's good. Big lip. That's for that deep dive, and I get you down there 20 foot. Very wide, nice conic lip. Put that aside. Um, they retail that one at $10.99. <clears throat> Next on the list is a Bagley bait. Another, another diver. is a much smaller one. This is the B1. It's a 5 16 ounce. This is a half the diving depth of that. So this is surfaced 10 foot. Try not to gouge myself. I don't want to do an instructional video on how to get your treble hooks out of your skin today. This is strictly an unboxing. <laughs> so we've got this little guy here. It's a pretty decent bait in itself. This is a uh, I actually like this chartreuse and uh, gold, the black. That's really good, I think, for uh, for a murkier water, a little stained water. <laughs> a little, little goofy eyeballs in the front. <laughs> uh, so this one, um, the Balsa B1. Uh, this one is going to retail at nine thirty nine. Their price. Um, I like that. And, I, and again, it's a it's a Balsa wood construction, so I appreciate that. Um, it's not as flat sided as the other beat as the other Bagley Bolsa that we got in uh, I think it was last month's tackle box. Um, it's a little bit more oval, um, but yeah, that's that's a good one. That's a zero to ten foot bait. Uh, again, that's that's nine thirty nine. Uh, fourth, we have Owner Twist Lock J Rig. Owner is definitely a class on their own. I love their hooks. Uh, this is a four aught. And it's a twist lock jigging rig. It's got the little weights there, the jigging weights with a uh, with that twist lock corkscrew for your keeper. Um, I like corkscrews. In fact, I might do a um, a short video on how to make your own corkscrew keepers for your own hooks. Uh, I'll do a little instruction video on that coming up in the future. You can do that with uh, simple wire. You can get stainless steel wire, or even some people try to do it with. Uh, Baby soft, you know, safety pins, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, this is not bad at all. This is, like I said, this is a, a four aught, a four aught, and it's a quarter ounce jigging setup. And you get two of those in the pack, which is good. Uh, they want these for eight dollars. Now you're paying for the name brand owner there. You can certainly get these cheaper. They won't have as sharp a hook, but uh, but it's out there for you. We've got. Uh, Baker Lures Top Water Popper. <clears throat> All right. It's a small little popper. It's got a nice, nice paint scheme. I'll say that. Don't hook in the carpet. <laughs> so again, you got that chartreuse stripe down the center. Got the black, silver black top. Big red, popping mouth on a small little popping bait. Um, Small trebles. Mm. They're sticky, but I, I think I can improve on that with some aftermarket hooks. I probably change those out. It's a little, a little smaller of a popper bait than I'm typical, uh, typically uh, throwing. I tend to throw a little heavier poppers than this. Uh, but then again, I'm looking for a bigger bass. Not that bigger baits always get bigger bass. Sometimes small baits get monsters too. Uh, but this is a quarter ounce little top water popper. And they're selling this one at six dollars ninety nine cents. So six ninety nine for the Baker's Lures Top Water Popper. Good deal. Uh, next on the list, we've got the Mismo Baits. Mismo Baits Company, Big Boy. Got this one, Mismo Big Boy. Smoky blue is the color they got. This is a salted tube. It's looking like a. Uh, Translucent smoke gray silver with black flake in it. Uh, it's a salted tube, so that's a good thing. It's going to add off a lot of buoyancy. I don't throw tubes nearly as often as I should for bass, but tubes get bass. They are one of the unsung heroes of, uh, of bass fishing. Um, and like I say, I'm, I'm guilty of being one of those unfortunate souls that don't throw them nearly as much. I'm going to end up, I'm going to spend some time, I'm going to get some more tubes and build myself a Plano with uh, strictly, strictly a tubing Plano. Um, 
And then I'll, I'll come back to this kind of bait in the future for future posts if, if you guys would like, comment down below and tell me uh, on tube ringing. One of, one of the, I got a few tricks on how to rig tubes, although I don't, I mean, I admit I don't, I don't throw them nearly as much, but I am an avid, uh, you know, knowledgeable person for how to, how to set these up to catch big bass. And there are some slight tricks and tips that you can use on tube baits uh, that people don't typically, uh, typically do when they throw them. They typically try to Texas rig them in a certain way, and there's other ways to rig them uh, that can actually improve your hook set. Now, the Mismo tubes are running at $5.99 by the MTB retail. Certainly, tubes can be bought cheaper than that, but this is not a company that I'm actually uh, experienced with. So, well, I'll give it a shot. Made south of the border. Um, Lunker City Swim... We have a Lunk Lunker City's Swimming, what do they call this? Swimming Ribster. Okay, so it's their version of a little Kitek. Ki it's a four inch little swim bait, paddle tail, ribbed swim bait. These I do like. Great for ta trailers on hooks. Go Texas rig. Certainly I did a, um, a real quick video on how to make line through baits. Uh, maybe a larger size than this four, but even even this, I'm sure you could do a small lot, little line through uh, version of it if that's what you're looking to do. Um, especially if you'd like to set this up in a uh, a Poe Man's Alabama rig style, where you could run your line through a hook, line to another one, another one, and, and daisy chain them so that you're swimming quite a few of these through the through the surface. Now, um, all that depends on your on your local laws. Certain states have limits to hooks. Uh, people who, who do throw Alabama rigs know this. Sometimes you can only use three hooks. Sometimes you can get away with six or eight. Sometimes it's one hook and you have to run, you know, five or six uh, dummies. Uh, but this, again, this is also another good use for these kind of smaller baits. Run this four, four uh, inch in your Alabama rig and then run a nice, you know, six inch of a, of a decent color. And it doesn't always have to be a matching color. You can use an accent color that will draw the fish's attention to that to that uh, bait with the hook in it and use these dummies just to be like flash in the in you know up top and vibration that boot tail definitely looks like it's going to do some decent vibration and they're a very obviously a very wiggly plastic so Lunker City does do some some decent uh, quality baits I will give them that I have quite a few Lunker City products um, that one's 449 and this is a 10 pack uh, 10 quantity 4 inch Ripster. And the color on this they've got is Arkansas or Arkansas, Arkansas Shiner. So it's like a a coffee root like yeah, greenish coffee color uh, amber with a silver belly. And last but not least, the Carl Stash for for this month, which is good to see. I've never never shy away from this. Uh, they gave me a Carolina rig kit. So you've got the two barrel swivels, a couple of plastic, although I would, I'll use glass uh, beads. You've got your, um, you got two of the, of the crackers, little discs out of metal, and you've got your two weights. So I wonder if these aren't tungsten, I would assume. Mainline weight, let's say they're probably steel. Brass colored, I don't know. But there's a nice little Carolina starter rig uh, for those who like to throw uh, Carolinas. Which I do, occasionally. So, they got this one retailed at $3 even. So, uh, yeah, that's the baits for, at least for my box. That's my box for February 2019, uh, Mystery Tackle Box Elite. Um, once again, you got the Strike Pro Gill Raker at $13.99. You've got the Jenko Fishing Deep Diver Crankbait at $10.99. The Bagley Diving Bolsa B1 at $9.39. The Owner Twist Lock Jig Rig, that's nice. Uh, that's $8 even. Uh, the Baker's Lures Topwater Popper, that little popper, is $6.99. The Mismo Big Boys um, Tubes, they run at $5.99. Lunker City Swim Ribster, uh, the little Kitex style baits, 4 inches, they're going to be $4.49. And finally, that Carolina kit at $3 even. Um, now again, like I said, I got this for $5 cheaper than normal. So taking that into consideration, this probably was a very, very good um, and profitable box. So... If you haven't tried uh, the Shop Carl's Mystery Tackle Box promo or, or system, I suggest it. For me, it works out. It gives me an opportunity to try some baits. 
and expand on some big companies that I've never used before, um, and gives me the opportunity to play around with some stuff, which opens up my mind and gives me, uh, you know, a valuable insight to different companies and different styles out there. But I'm definitely looking forward to that when the ice comes off the water and the snow stops falling. Uh, I intend to get back out on the water and start making some some videos. If there's anything that you would like to see content-wise, do me a favor. Like this, share this, subscribe, comment. It's not social media if you're not socializing. So comment on the video. See what you like. I appreciate all my recent subscribers. Um, marching my way slowly but surely up to that 1K mark where I'm going to do a, a very nice giveaway at 1,000. Um, all my subscribers active are going to be entered into the drawing to win whatever that prize might be. And it's going to be valuable. It's not going to be something cheesy. Uh, I was planning on doing just a gift card, uh, you know, a Visa gift card, which is good as cash uh, to a lucky uh, subscriber. Um, and then maybe at another threshold, I'll do something like a tackle uh, tackle kit, like a tackle box and some tackle gear, or a rod reel combo, and, and send that out. We'll, we'll play that by ear. But for now, slowly and surely, I'm going to get to that 1,000 threshold. Uh, I'll get my videos up, get more and more content for you guys. Uh, and definitely, I want to show my appreciation and love to all the people that have subscribed with, with me so far. And uh, keep up the good work. But uh, we need to grow together. I enjoy uh, talking to you all and, and helping out and giving you any kind of tips and in, in inferring ways to be a good angler and get out there on the water for less money because we all have budgets we got to live with. We've got things that make sense and matter. So I want to get as many people out there on the water enjoying nature, enjoying the, the sport of fishing, and not being subject to being withheld or held back because they think, oh, it's, you know, it's a rich man's sport. You don't have to be a super rich person to enjoy something that is a family-oriented uh, and, and a very cathartic and relaxing pastime. So uh, thank you for joining me today. Uh, Probably won't be very well edited because my camera doesn't work well with the editing software. But thank you again for enjoying this at one take video session. Uh, I hope this was informative. And if you are a Mystery Tackle Box uh, subscriber and you get a box, either it be a pro or standard or an elite like mine, comment down below if, if you had something different or if uh, you want to try something from this box, you want to see a video posted with me using something from this box. I mean, I definitely want to get one of these out there on the water uh, when it warms up a little bit, probably in the pre-spawn, and uh, see what that works with as a swim bait. Um, and then maybe what I also have plans on is buying a new uh, kayak. Uh, there's a company that just started, and they've got a very unique uh, take on, on kayaks, and I'm planning on possibly purchasing that. And if I do, then I'll have videos of that. You'll see me start with the base unit, add my little whims and tims, you know, trolling motor, uh, maybe a fish finder as we go along. And you'll watch the buildup of that, and I'll set that aside. So uh, we'll see what happens. But as always, I appreciate all you do. Tight lines, and uh, happy fishing.